The center of a college is in great conversation, and out of talk of college life springs everything else. James A. Blasdell, the founder behind the Claremont College Consortium. But there are some topics, abortion, defense of marriage, and immigration among them, that are off-limits at Pomona College, a liberal arts college near Los Angeles. Claremont McKenna students David DeLayden and Kyle Kinnenberg found that out the hard way when they dared to ask questions of Planned Parenthood representative and pro-choice speaker Serena Jossel. The boys were promptly banned. This is their story. Well, the Pomona student group Vox, we found out, was hosting a series of events that week that they were calling Abortion Awareness Week. And the final event of that week was going to be a, a, a speaking event, a, a speaker from, from Planned Parenthood of Los Angeles, Serena Jossel, who is their public, uh, public affairs manager, was going to be speaking there, coming to speak to students about abortion. So we thought in the, in the spirit of Abortion Awareness Week, of, of, a, of, a, of a public awareness week trying to get people to understand these issues better, trying to get them to think about them some more, we thought what, what better place for us to attend and to be able to engage in dialogue with people about the issue of abortion. Um, a, a group of us went over, there were about five of us from Live Action, who went over. Um, they, they let us in, we, we sat down on the couches around there and um, started listening to Miss Jossel's speech, or her little talk, that was primarily about just what Planned Parenthood of Los Angeles has been doing in um, in the area, kind of basically promoting the organization to this group. Now, we also went along with a video camera so that we could tape her responses. We wanted to have a record of the, of the information and the ideas that were exchanged. We wanted to have a record that would allow for accurate reporting in the future, and also a record that would allow the public, and particularly the student population, to, to see exactly what was said, to see exactly what kind of, what kind of thoughts and what kind of what kind of details were exchanged between a lot of different people on a subject like abortion. Several other, several other questions were asked by people in our, in our group. I mean, David asked several questions. And then Ms. Jossel realized that you guys were filming. What happened, what happened then? Yeah, so that was about, that was probably 20 minutes into film, into my filming. She was, actually she was, she, at, by that point she had stopped talking with David because she had realized that um, he was from live action. One of the, or the, the president of Vox had told her that, that he was from live action. The, the exchange between, mostly between myself and between Ms. Jossel, certainly during the first part of the, during the first part of the talk, there were several different, different students contributing and asking questions of the speaker. Although, then a few live action members and then myself began to, b began to, you know, to ask some of our questions of Ms. Jossel. And we were, you know, we were, we were very respectful, very, uh, very low key, very calm. And her responses were as well, and we were we were we were very impressed by that and edified by that, and so we had a nice conversation about about some of these issues, up until Ms. Jossel realized first that we were from the group Live Action, and at that point she became she became a little defensive and she said, I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. I don't want to talk about these issues. It would seem, I mean, from what I understand, I mean, it would seem like you know, wouldn't don't most organizations like keep track of when they do that, or it just seems like re basic record keeping, right? I don't know if it's irrelevant, but Serena, this is David. David's the head of the live action. Ah, now I get it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this more, but you're just engaging in this back and forth stuff. That's like. I know the whole live action. It's very interesting. Action. I mean, I would love to talk to you. It's totally interesting, but like, <laughs> it's really not doing anything to further women's health. It's just like stoking your cause. I'm not interested in doing that. I'm sorry. No. So you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about. And so she she stopped talking with him. She was answering another girl's question, and you know, apparently happened to look over and finally saw the camera, um, and got got very upset um, by it. You guys asked. If she wanted you to leave, I mean... Yeah, that was, that was David's first response. I, I didn't say anything. I was just sitting there. David, you know, David being the president of our organization, he, he was the one doing, doing the speaking. Um, but he, that was his first response. He said, uh, well, if, if you're, you know, we're sorry you feel uncomfortable, but uh, we can leave if you would like us to. And she, she didn't respond to that question. She just kept lecturing us on... Um, how we shouldn't have done that on how we were breaking California law, which of course was false. About two weeks after the events at the, at the Vox meeting and the events with Serena Jossel, 
both Kyle Kinnenberg and I each received a letter, a hand-delivered letter, from the from Associate Dean Holmes and Dean of the Women's Union Holmes at Pomona College, informing us that we had been banned from Pomona College because we had engaged in activities that were designed to disrupt Vox's meeting, that were designed to intimidate the participation the, the participants there, and that were designed to chill the free exchange of ideas at Pomona College. We were told that if we if we were found on Pomona College campus, that the campus campus safety would be calling us or even the Claremont Police Department would be summoned. And we were also, uh, we were, they also, we, the, the dean's letter also demanded of us that we, we relinquish, that we surrender all copies, all original copies and all any subsequent copies made of the, of the video that we obtained uh, that evening at the Vox meeting. The, the video quality you know, was not very good and the, and the audio was, was really downright terrible. So it was, it was very much an open question, even, even almost halfway settled, that we may not end up doing anything with that video. We, we, it may never actually have seen, have seen, the, public, um, have seen, have seen the public eye um, had this controversy not come up. So now, however, Dean Holmes, Associate Dean Holmes from Pomona College is demanding that live action, that Kyle and I relinquish those videos to her office by Friday, March 6th. That's today, actually. Now, when I went to speak to Associate Dean of Students Castro at Claremont McKenna College about this letter and about what sort of what sort of recourse Kyle and I might have towards you know towards this very unjust act on the part of Pomona College towards their the, you know their mischaracterization and their and their fabrications about uh, about the events that had taken place, you know, and and that they had never attempted to verify with us that they had never contacted us. To, you know, to find out exactly what went on that evening, Dean Fid Castro told me basically that, that there was no reason for him to look into the matter further, that there was no reason for him to attempt to defend me and Kyle Kinneberg against the actions of Pomona College. We basically all, all you know, a, a bunch of people just started kind of rallying behind us. Um, certainly you at the Claremont Conservative started um, you know, blogging about this this incident, and so so um, news of that spread pretty quickly. Um, two friends over in um, in D.C. who graduated last year, Kevin Vance and Adam Dilizansky, started the Facebook group. Um, Don't ban Kyle and David from Pomona. Um, that just took off uh, in the number of number of members. I think within. Within three days, it was at 600 members, um, mostly people that I didn't know, um, and a lot of people who differed from, you know, both David and and me on the abortion issue. Yeah, I think there are significant problems with, you know, one college having the authority to punish students from another college without any type of due process, um, you know, without the students being able to um, defend themselves. So let's get this straight. Pomona's dean still believes she has the authority to ban students for whatever reason she deems fit? We wanted to ask her how she makes that determination, but she didn't want to talk with us on camera. We agree that conduct can sometimes be disruptive, but let's have a conversation about what those policies can be so that it does not infringe upon the free speech that gives college life. Kyle Kinnenberg graduated this spring as the valedictorian of Claremont McKenna. He majored in mathematics and will soon be attending UCLA for graduate school. David Delayden is entering his junior year.